Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RDA. This is your Manchester United vs Fulham match preview. Yes, Fulham, the season's basically done, you know. That's why I'm going to get to this team on my left, we'll get to the score predictions. But for me, this game really doesn't mean anything. We got Champions League. Second would be nice. This should be a, just a, a nice win for us. And it should be a game where we can use our squad. We shouldn't have no reason to play the first team against Fulham. There is nothing to play for in this game. I repeat, there is nothing to play for in this game. So play the other players, play the rusty players, let's get them fit. If we need to use them in the final or whatever, we can, you know. They let them get some game time, you know, let them get a little bit more sharp. But anyways, before we get into everything, if you are new, do subscribe, do smash the like. And gentlemen, how are you all doing? Uh, I'm okay. Feeling much better than I felt after Liverpool, which was very sad. And yeah, so much that I took a break from football in general. Because like I just couldn't after losing to Liverpool. But then I heard Chelsea was losing, so I had to tune back in and you know laugh at them a little bit. But besides that, I haven't watched much football to be honest. And yeah, I guess I'm ready to go again. And yeah, this game doesn't really mean much. Like we're... okay, it does to a certain extent because we need three more points to secure second. So from that point of view, it means something. But beside that, not really. Not really. But what I would like to see is um, whatever backline is going to play in a final, play in these two games. Because I think they mm. need to play together after that shit show that we saw against Liverpool. That's actually that's a good point you bring up. Because when I did the team, I was thinking about that as well. I was thinking... I didn't think about that. I must say, I didn't think about that. But I was thinking maybe you put Axel and Bayer in this game. Because you would want to look after Lindelof and make sure he's 100% for the final. Because the last thing I think Oli would want to do is lose his other sec his second centre-back, you know, and play yeah. excellent by So that, uh, but now that you say that play Lindelof and someone else and play like all the games just so they can get used to each other, it does, it does make some sense. It does make some sense. But yeah, Clay, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I'm feeling very confident. It's Fulham. Uh, there's no reason I shouldn't feel confident. Despite losing two games back to back, I do think it's just that time of the season for us where we're kind of just on the beach, you know, season's mm -hmm. over, we don't need to worry too much. So that, I'm not too worried about these fixtures, but I'm just hoping Oli makes the right team selections and actually allows our players to be fully fit because we've got Fulham and Wolves before the Europa League final. Mm -hmm. So I think personally start somewhat strong team today and then rest for Wolves and then we can do whatever we're doing, make sure everybody's fully fit, make sure we're not doing anything weird. And just because if I see two like full strength teams for both these games again, it's just poor man management all over again. So I'm just looking forward to a take the piss game. Hopefully we can see some tactic adjustments. Just see Ali experimenting a little, yeah, and see if we can see something positive for next season. Mm. I think that's going to be the most interesting part about today's yeah. show is going to be this team on my left, and we'll get there. But you know, as normal, I must tell you how it's looking in the Premier League for us actually. It's not looking good. It's two back-to-back -back losses. Two wins, one draw in the last five. For Fulham, they're obviously relegated. It's done. It's dusted. Yep. They've lost four, drawn one. So, there should be a dub. No matter what team we really put out there, there should be a dub. I do rate Fulham. I think they play some good football. I just think they have been lacking that little something to push them over the edge, you know? So, yeah. We sh they, I'm not going to rule out Fulham completely, but I would say 90% this should be United winning this game, no matter if it's our first team, our second team, yeah. a blended team, we should win this game. No disrespect to Fulham, like I said, but yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. My Our form isn't the greatest in the Premier League recently, obviously for certain reasons. Lost to Liverpool, played a bad, well, a very weak side against Leicester, but we should win against Fulham. And yeah. I just want to ask you guys, you know, what do you actually think about Fulham this season? Because, like I said, I said, I kind of rate the football. I just feel like they've missed mm. that, you know, that, that extra little bit to get over the edge. I think the philosophy is there, but they just didn't have the enough quality to get over the line. Yeah, before I get to Fulham, I feel like the motivation is easy for Ole. As much as we don't have much to play for, second is an improvement from last season. So it's that simple. You go out, you beat one of the worst teams in the league, you're second, you know. And if the players don't respond to that, they have a serious issue. So I think I think I think it should be a good game. Fulham ish. 
I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel like they're one of those teams that don't. I don't know if I'm going too far saying they lack a clear identity because I don't know what they are. Sometimes are they a team that plays progressive football like a Leeds, mm. or are they a team that's very defensive? I feel like the last between the two. But then one can say that's the life of a, a team that plays that's fighting for relegation because it de- depends on what team you're playing. And on top of that, I feel like they like talisman talismans. I don't yeah. think they have players that's that can yeah. take them over the line really. Yeah. And I've been surprised. Mitrovic plays for them, right? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. what I was gonna say. Mitrovic yeah, has been yeah, a big letdown. Yeah, it's been a big letdown because yeah. he is to supposed fact, to be the talisman. He hasn't been playing much. Been Lookman this season for them, admittedly. They don't pick him much, which is funny because if I remember correctly, last season in the championship he was uh, an important player yeah. for them. I think he was top. I don't think he was top. He was up I there. think he was up there. Yeah, yeah top three for sure. Premier League proven. You're not giving him game time, so I don't understand that uh, from Scott Parker. But I, I think he's. I think at the, the beginning game. he tried it, but then ugh, Mitrovic he just, just he didn't. Yeah, he just yeah, he didn't take though. it. I think so. I think he did try saw, Mitrovic, yeah. and he just wasn't. I saw doing like it, one so. or two games here Love and there with Mitrovic, <laughs> but, but yeah. never consistent, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. But Clay, never too consistent. Clay, what do you think about Fulham? Yeah, yeah, I'm overall was really impressed with them through parts of the season, especially like about the halfway point where they found their identity under Scott Parker. I felt they actually looked like a side that could actually survive. Simple as that. I thought they could take points with big teams, they could be a bogey team, and that they would fight to the end for the relegation bout. But right now, I feel like Scott Parker's kind of just waiting for the squad and just helping it develop a little bit. Should I say? Because it felt like he was playing more youth in the last game against Southampton yesterday. Mm. And uh, I don't think he's going to take this game too seriously. I'm not too worried about it. I think he's just trying to keep everyone fit, trying to see if he can keep his players for next mm. season. I don't think he's worried too much about this game. So I, I think there's a lot of complacency for both teams right now. And I could generally go either way. And I don't know what to think with Fulham right now. They've been relegated. I don't think they have the motivation. I I just don't know what to think right now. Yeah, that's a different thing. If they if they weren't relegated officially yeah. yet, this would be a very would... dangerous game. Yeah. This would be a very 100%. dangerous game. But because they're relegated, it's done. It's dusted. You just, like you say, you play the younger lads, you play the yep. youth, you see what they can do, you know. And hopefully they can do something. And my lord's camera went um, the other yeah. way. So if you can just Camera's flip it again. Today. There we go, that's thank you. Set. That's fine. That's <laughs> that's Camera's having a ton of fun today. Honestly. <laughs> Am I back? Yeah, you're good. Okay. Well, anyways, um, I think that about sums it up. Really, I think United will obviously be the aggressor. Fulham will look to sit back, counter. Yeah. But not much to say about this game. The season's over. Yeah, there isn't much to say yeah. about this game. But this is the biggest point. This is the yeah. bigger. Let me bring it more into shot a little bit for Aaron. <laughs> this is the bigger picture. So this team on my left, you would swear I did pick it full, and I did. I won't lie to you. I was just more thinking of my head than Ollie's head, to be honest with you. Because yeah. I, but I believe in it. I, I was even going to put David there, but for some reason, I think Dino will play this game because, like I said, David is going to be the Europa League final. Well, he should be the Europa League final goalkeeper. And I don't know, like, if he switches it now, it's like, oh my oh. God, like, you know, what's happening? You know, what is happening? You know, but I know that lots of people will say, just put David into here. Now you gave Dino his chance, choked it, or whatever, put David in goal. He hasn't really done anything to be dropped. You know, so play him. So, we'll start off with Dino and De Gea. What do you think Oli will do? Because I think he will stick with Dino. But, what are you guys feeling about the goalkeeper situation? Because I am more lenient to the side where people say, you know, David, that's exactly why David needs to stay here. You know, Dino must relax himself. And, you know, you must learn a little bit more than just be calm and drop into the first team of goalkeeper for Manchester United. It's getting old to be honest because like we're always having it as a fan base but and i guess it'll always be like this until yeah. this problem so i hear is, is is solved but um i think dino should play and i think he will play the last two games and david will play the final i think it's that simple okay yeah i 
I'm more in the house of thinking that Ali could be going, you need one dub it up, make sure it's 100%, and we could see him playing one of these two games at least. I think but David should play one happens. of these games. I think he should yeah. play maybe the Wolves game just before the Europa League final if he's going to be the finalist goalkeeper. Just, you know, get some sharpness up, yeah. you know, just test it. But if we see David in this game, and then again at Wolves, then we see Dino, and then oh, we lose shit. Yeah, the, the, the Ali classic, Ali so, classic. Yeah. Yeah. I if Dino's playing in the final, it says everything, really. Dino's the number one. Yeah, yeah I think that, that's what it says. I think if well. Dino plays that's in the final, so. Dino's number one. Uh, okay. You know, but yeah. We're just going to yeah, see what Oli yeah. does with it. Um, the fullbacks, I put Aaron but one Bissaka because there's no one really else besides Brandon Williams, but I don't think yeah. they trust Brandon Williams even that much. So I think Aaron's going to play. Maguire can't, so I think Bayou plays. Victor's obviously second choice centre back, but like I said, Malotu said actually. He might play Victor and Bailly for the rest of the game, just for them to, you know, get some yep. chemistry going, you know, get it running up for the final, which is a good point. I didn't think about it like that, but I did write Axel and Bailly because, like I said, I would like the other players who haven't really got the chance this season to actually play play these last two games, you know? Just let yep. them out, let them get sharp, let them, you know, if we need to use them in the final or whatever, they at least they've got, like, three back-to-back games now, you know? So I put Axel and Bailly, and I think Tellez, you know, Tellez is basically... He's good enough. He is good enough. You know, he, he should be able to play this game. Shaw doesn't really have to play this game. So I put Alex Tellez. I think he's more than capable of playing against Fulham. I think if Alex Tellez is the player we would like to have sharp for, in case of a game like if the final comes in. We need to go gung-ho. Alex Tellez, you know, bring him on. Bring him on. He's attacking pullback. Bring him on. Let's see what we can do. So what do you think about that back line? Honestly, I think Alex Tellez will only ever start again next season. I think Shaw is going to start all the games. Maybe tell us or come off the bench. Wambasaka will play. And I foresee um, Lindelof and Bai to get them working together. But they, you know, I saw this headline and I didn't read the article, but they were saying to against Liverpool, did Man United miss Maguire or do they need a defensive coach? <laughs> and like it's something that we've kinda hinted at all season. Like sometimes you just wonder about our setup and our how we set up our defensive line and it's Yeah. Yeah, we all need help. Ola needs proper help and not bloody Michael Carrick. So, mm-hmm. something to think about. But I would like to see Lindelof and Bai. Yeah. yeah. So, in my opinion, I think this is the game. Strong team that you're going to expect in the Europa League final. And then Wolves, you can rest. I think that's what I would do as a manager in this situation. I doubt that's what Ola is going to do. But I see Shaw starting and I see Victor starting as well in place of back. So, I get where you're coming from, but I think that the rotation on Cohen versus Wolves makes a lot more sense for that to happen. Hmm. See, I was thinking the other, because I was like, you know, this game, the relegation team, played the youngsters yeah. here, Wolves, you play a bit of your strong team again, like, that's the last game they'll have to get sharp, so play them there. Yeah, but again, the, 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 it's pushing it, you know, because we're playing on, like, what, Sunday, and then we're playing on Tuesday again? Or yeah, something but like I, would, that. I would have done that personally. I would have rested yeah, them this week. This is the it. game to rest. I want them burnt. I want them burning. They need to be on it. They need to be sharp. So that's like, you know, it's just different. The yeah. midfield is interesting. Because I don't want to see McFred. I don't want to see McFred for any of the last three fucking games. I don't wow. want to see McFred for that. And, and he, they will probably play the final and maybe one Premier League game. Okay. Malota just died? No. Okay. Malota's back. I know the overlay plays here on the left now. Malota's at the bottom. He's got no voice. Overheating. But anyways, I was speaking about McFred. I don't want McFred to... um. To play for the rest of the season because like i said i think they're fucking ass they are so ass it's unbelievable so and i think if you have a game where you play paul pogba in the midfield with the in the pivot you know this is the game so for me pogba fred you try it in this game you know there is no you can you know you can like i said i would play a semi-blended team i think you can experiment with pogba and fred just to see if you want to go with it i know lots of people don't like it because i think every time we played Pogba, I think we have played Pogba and Fred in a final as well, and I don't know if it went, or a semi-final, and it didn't go well, so, there's that, Bruno I think always plays, so, you know, yeah, and I think Bruno always plays, (laughs) so it is what it is with Bruno. Yeah. Is Mort here? I am. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this chopping and changing, really, I want us to decide where Pogba's going to play, and like, play him there, because I do think... Ola will do this, but then the final is going to play Pogba on the left, <laughs> and I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. So, no. this would be something interesting. A part of me does want to see Pogba in the pivot, 
or in the midfield, right? I don't really like him in um, the deep lying midfield player position, but maybe more offensively, which we'll never see because Ola doesn't like doing that with Pogba. And Rashford on the left, back to his favorite position. But I don't know. I don't know. Personally, I've gone to a point where I think Pogba's best position in this team, for this team, will be either on the left wing or just on the left side of the midfield, more offensively. And that's why I want to see him play every time he plays, really. And let's play Donny in the, in the, in the pivot. We won't see that, but that's where Donny should be playing. Yeah. And... Yeah, but I'd knowing switch, Ole, I'd switch Danny and Pogba, yeah, personally. Yeah, but if I want to try, try to get into Ole's head, he's go- going to play Pogba in the pivot next to probably McTominay, maybe not Fred, <laughs> and he'll play Rasha back on the left. He'll play Green on the right and Cavani through the middle. I don't know. I'm getting ahead of myself because we're going to get to that, but yeah, I think that's what Ole's going to do. Yeah, yeah I'm kind of with you. The only difference I have is I want to see us go back to our OG midfield three. Mm. Matic, Pogba, Bruno. Matic, Just let Matic Bruno. have one more game, you know. One game Zero. in the final. Please come, Capoz. Final. You do it. Yep. You can do it. I think Matic can do it. But but that's the only thing. That that's basically the only change that makes the midfield. Otherwise, I think I'm almost certain Pogba and Bruno plays. Whether Pogba plays in the left wing or in the midfield is a whole different ballpark of a question you're asking there. Yeah. But I, I do see what Malota's front three is, and I think I would match that more likely. So I think we see Pogba in the third again. Yeah, the, the reason I want to put Rashford here is because I'm also thinking this is a great game to rest Rashford again. You know, you could play him here and rest him against moves like Laces, but you know, or even rest him both games. If you can rest Rashford both games, you could probably do it both games getting rested. But obviously, does need to be a bit. He needs to be a bit sharp. But yeah, I don't want Rashford to play not because I don't rate him. Obviously, I just think he needs a break, you know. He needs to recover from everything that's going on. I think, like I said, I put Mason in because Mason's in form. He didn't really get to play the whole Liverpool game. So put him back in. It's young. He can play. You bring on Ahmad, you know. But like I said, just because personally, I would play Ahmad in a game like this. It's Fulham. There's nothing yeah. riding on it. Ahmad, have some game time. See what you can do. You know, have a feel out. Get some more minutes under your belt. And it is what it is. I think I wouldn't play Cavani here really because... I don't need him. I don't need Cavani in this game. I don't need Rashford in this game. So that's the only reason I put Tony, Mason, and Ahmad. Because I just, I don't feel like we need our players in this game personally. And I would like to see them rather at Wolves than now. Yeah. Well, I, I still just think it's too tight of a turnaround to have our first team play Wolves, you know? I understand that Wolves is the stronger team and that we should be going stronger players for that. But the league doesn't matter at this point. If we beat Fulham with the full stack, that's second place secured, right? Uh, I believe so. I think point. So. so just smack Fulham around with the full first strength, take yeah. a complete person, Ahmad, Lady Langa back, just go against the Wolves, you know, and don't worry. Because mm. I, I hope that's the attitude we choose just because Europa League final is massively important to us right now. We want to win a trophy, we need to win a trophy. After this, the one yesterday, I, mm. trophy hits different, guys. After less exactly. one yesterday, a trophy hits different. I don't care what trophy it is. I I need a trophy in my life. So, you know, we need to to win that game. But, yeah. Knowing Oli, none of this will happen. Everything we just spoke about won't happen. He's going to play McFred. He's going to play Pogba left wing. He's going to play Rashid right. Cavani down the middle. From now till the final. (laughs) If he plays in this game, I wouldn't mind too much. Because, as I've said, second place is the only thing left to play for. So, finish Fulham and then take the piss against Wolves. You can even play Ethan Laird. I'm not even sure if Ethan Laird's still here, but you can play whoever you want against against Wolves. Really? As long as we beat these yeah. guys. And it, it's done and dusted. Okay, I see where you're coming yeah. from. I see where you're coming from. I would just invert it personally. But yeah. Yeah. Just... I get where you're coming from with the inversion. I just I, I don't like our fitness. Uh, the squad's fitness in general is always sus. Uh, I don't like the two, three-day turnaround. Exactly. That's why I think Oli will do it like that. That's exactly why I think Oli will do it like that, though. Yeah. <laughs> I think Oli he likes the sus route, you know, so. That's true. It is what it is. We are ready. Now. That's big question. <laughs> none of us got the last one right. None of us got the last one right. I got the yeah. score right. You did. Just the other way around. Just the, the other way around. <laughs> Just the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> but is anyone actually feeling confident about this? Because, like I said, I think these days it really depends on team you pick, so I just don't know. Let's just. Oh. We'll do, we'll do full strength region. Well, not full strength, you know, the probable team we'll pick. Yeah. 
I think I'll go first. Okay. I'll go first. I think it's going to be a classic United performance this season. We're going to start the game. We're going to be late last year. Fulham's no. going to score. No. And we're going to come back. And we're going to win 3-1. That's what I see. If we concede to this dead Fulham team, I'm abandoning mm. all hope for the Europa League final. I'm already, you only, I'm, I'm done. Like, in my head, we lost. I'm mentally preparing for it now. Nah, yeah, that's fine. We're going to win the Europa League. Relax. I'm yeah, mentally, pre- I'm also. mentally preparing for it I'm now. waiting for the kidney, eh? I'm waiting for the kidney. <laughs> 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 we somehow choke it. But, yeah, there's no reason why we can't absolutely decimate Fulham, send them back to the championship in style, and, yeah, just have some fun with this game and play some good football, you know? So, I would match Moses 3, but we are not allowed to concede. If we concede, yeah. not good enough. We could smack this team if we were up for it. We should be smacking this team. We should be smacking. Really I think even our second team. team, I think Ahmad should have a real day against these guys. <laughs> yeah, even then. Mm. However, everything I just I did say, I'm not going to stand by it. I think we yes, will concede. Should. I think we will concede, so that's why. No. Like I said, you just I don't have faith. No. Um, yeah, I'll go with the safe one because everyone takes the safe score and I never get to have it. Yeah, so that's true. I'm gonna take a safe one. I'm gonna go two one. I think we never keep a clean sheet, and I think we will get over the line. I think Fulham could score first, like Moloto says, like, and I think we can do a comeback. Fulham. I think we can make a comeback, and I think that's just how our season is. I don't expect anything different. My expectations are on the floor for this team. I'm not expecting a doubt. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you you can you can do it. You can have the false hope. I'm not gonna t- blame you for it, but sass. This team is sass. So you never know what you're gonna get. So, but anyways. Yeah. Three wins it should be a win. I think in respect of what happens, it should be a dub. So yeah, let's just, let's just see what happens on Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, on Tuesday. But anyways, yep. it's Fulham, it's Wolves, and then it's the big one. Then it's the big one. So, if you did enjoy this video, do subscribe if you haven't already. Do smash a like. Do comment down below your score prediction. Do comment down below the team you would like to see. And we will check you all on Tuesday evening for our match reaction. Hopefully it's a dub.